Recently, PewDiePie posted this video where he talked about his addiction. It made me reflect on my own addiction, although I don't have like a serious addiction like alcohol or substance. I don't even know whether to or not to classify it as an addiction, but I feel like it is an addiction due to the fact that I'm very dependent on it and I can't control it. And like the title says, my addictions are daydreaming and food. It sounds stupid, but I'll explain why. First, let's talk about daydreaming. I started daydreaming since a very young age, I mean probably since I was aware of my own existence. I used to daydream about cartoon characters, make imaginary friends, imagine myself being part of their world or them coming to visit my own world. Having long conversations with them, it was fun and very enjoyable. It wasn't a concern, I think, that most kids do that and they are very imaginative at that age. The problem is when you do it as an adult. <sighs> That's so embarrassing to admit. What's up, I'm to a 21 year old adult and I still daydream just like I did as a child. I can't stop it, I do it all the time and it is preventing me from executing normal adult tasks that I'm supposed to be doing on a daily basis. But most importantly, it had the worst effect on my academic, which is the most important thing to me right now. To give you a bit of background, I'm in nursing school and specifically in my last year and I have done so poorly so far. I'm very ashamed of that and I regret it so much. Anyways, when it comes to daydreaming, I have two types of daydreaming, spontaneous and forced daydreaming. Forced daydreaming is the one that I do with my own will. Usually, after a long day, I just want to be by myself, put some nice music on and daydream. Forget about the real world and relax. I think that most people do it in their own way. For me, I would imagine a different world or a different person and their life or imagine myself as a different person. I would watch something to inspire me. And if I'm really enjoying the story or the fantasy, I could go on and on for months daydreaming about the same thing and more, making more details, giving little attention to my own life, making more plots and more exciting events in my head. And just like that, I would waste tremendous amount of time and wonder why I'm so behind in life, how come I made no progress in years and I'm still the same. Or even worse, because the requirements of life have gone up when I stayed in the same spot seeking only instant pleasures from daydreaming. The second type of daydreaming is spontaneous daydreaming, which is completely out of my control and it happens whenever. But the most common circumstance could be when I'm feeling bored or during classes or when I'm really stressed about something. To me, the most dangerous one is when, when it happens during classes. I could give examples of semesters where I finished a lecture and I fully attended without knowing what the teacher was talking about the whole semester or what the subject was. The worst part is that even when I'm home trying to study stuff, I would start daydreaming. Even if I'm using Pomodoro, I could find myself daydreaming during the study time and start panicking whether to take a break or to start all over again or where was I. It's so stressful. While daydreaming, I wouldn't notice how much time is passing by and the time that I spent daydreaming is really pleasurable. And it kind of creates a new level of happiness which you can't experience anywhere else but your own fantasy. My life was so boring, I could not stop daydreaming. And it was hard to do stuff like studying that requires focus and especially the fact that my brain got used to instant gratification that I get from daydreaming. It is impossible to wait for like a long word such as graduation or grades. Even things that I enjoy had became boring. I used to get so excited while drawing, now it's not as exciting as it was. Even daydreaming is hard, <laughs> especially when I repeat the same fantasy. They are all so boring now. 
I have lost complete sense of excitement because I'm just seeking more and more and more pleasure. Speaking of pleasure, let's talk about my other addiction which is food. I know this is a very sensitive topic so please don't watch this if it makes you uncomfortable. I just want to vent about my struggles and it's kind of weird and embarrassing to do it in real life but I'm very comfortable with my YouTube channel. Ever since I was a kid, I always loved food. I ate everything in my plate and getting treats like chocolate would make me the happiest kid ever. I used to get a lot of comments about my body which made me want to lose weight despite the fact that I had a healthy BMI. When I gained a bit of independence, I had to make my own choices. I found myself just wanting to eat more and more and more food. It was so pleasurable. I remember being in high school and eating food was something that would make my heart beat just beat and just thinking about it made me so excited. But also after eating crazy amounts of food I would be so uncomfortable and so ashamed. So when I was around 19 as an adult I decided to take matters into my own hand and to stop this cycle and finally to lose weight which I did, I lost a lot of weight, but in a very wrong way. It was so painful since I didn't eat at all, but also so stupid because I gained everything back months later. I'm still in a healthy BMI, but I don't have muscles and stuff. And I feel like my insides are completely messed up. And now for about two years, I'm just stuck in this binge restrict cycle. I could eat a crazy amount of food like it's nothing and just want to eat even more even if i'm feeling uncomfortable and feel ashamed and regret it saying it's the last time i'll try to diet then i start craving again <laughs> i'll have something to eat and just tell myself that's it just eat everything and the guilt just start all over again and in correlation to my other addiction daydreaming, I would daydream about food when I'm feeling hungry or when I'm binging, I will daydream because that amplifies the pleasure a lot. Despite all of this, I'm generally living a very okay life. Like, I have everything that I want, I'm very grateful for that, but I just feel like my actions don't reflect my gratitude towards the stuff that, and the people that I have in life. I could have been a better student, a better friend, a better artist, a better person if I controlled myself more. I could have done a lot better and I feel that it's a shame that I'm failing in life because of some fictional characters and a bag of crisps. It's not even worth saying out loud, it sounds so stupid. I don't have a specific goal at the moment and uh, I truly all I truly want is to stop chasing instant pleasures and live my own life as me. I want to be able, no matter how boring it is or how disappointed I am in me, to live my own life. I want to give it a shot and try my best like everybody else, not to reach a significant goal but just to live my own life. I feel like in order to, for me to have goals, I should at least experience my own life to see what are the things that I can work on and achieve. I feel like daydreaming has been distracting me from seeing my own life and now I want to see it as it is, whether it's bad or not, and do something about it eventually. Butes was able to break his addiction and that gave me a lot of motivation to work on my own, despite the fact that to me now it seems impossible to live without fantasy. But he said that once you get over your addiction, it no longer is a part of your life. I've started educating myself a bit on this stuff like human brain behavior, trying to get a different viewpoint on my own struggles and just trying to make some changes in my life hopefully this will translate into action and 
I'll be sharing my progress as well and hopefully it'll be over my addiction just like PewDiePie did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.